What's up guys? So today I wanted to talk about uh, Airlift and the, specifically the Airlift 5000 uh, Ultimate which is what I have on this truck. I installed it myself. Um, so uh, hopefully it's installed right, you know what I mean? But um, no, it should be installed right. I haven't had any issues with it um, and I really wanted to talk about how it's performing today. I've driven with it so far. Um, let's see here. Six, seven hundred miles, seven hundred miles with it, with a fully loaded down uh, Montana fifth wheel, 2011. It's uh, the dry weight on this trailer is 13,000. Actually, just weighed it today. Uh, it's showing on the axles of the trailer is 12,000, um, but then on the rear axle of the truck is 6,600 pounds, um, which is a little more than I want. It's a little too close to that max axle weight um, of this truck. So I'm probably going to end up uh, readjusting some weight in the trailer. Um, I have a toolbox in the bed that has a lot of weight in it too. Maybe we'll move some of that around or move it into the trailer. Or, yeah, some adjusting to do. Um, but overall, with the airbags installed prior to driving, so before the airbags were installed, um, I drove the trailer for 2,000 miles across country unloaded. The trailer was unloaded and the truck did not have airbags and the bumping was really bad. Um, but you'd hit a, you'd hit a, a bridge, you know, going across the road or you'd hit those concrete sections of road with the, um, the gaps in between. And every time you'd hit it, it would just get worse and worse. Um, and it was like you're on a pogo stick and it, you know, it just would bounce and get worse as you'd hit more of them. Um, so that's what made me think like I need to do something about this. The other reason I got airbags was uh, the truck was also sagging in the back um, or squatting, whatever you want to, however you want to word it. Um, so I wanted to raise the back up a little bit, kind of get a little bit more levelness to the truck while driving, just to you know decrease tire wear and all that, um, and then also make the ride a little bit softer. Um, now the trailer is loaded down. Like I said, it probably weighs. 3,000, 4,000 more with all of our stuff in it. And maybe that's a little high, but it, it, you can tell there's more weight back there than before. However, the ride is significantly smoother. Um, it's so much smoother. Now, full disclosure, yesterday I started out this drive um, with 30 PSI in the airbags. Um, and I'll be honest, it uh, wasn't much better than no airbags at all and I was kind of disappointed um, but then I read on Airlift's website they basically said if you have this issue just you know like you know too much bounce add air if you have it's not level add air if you have um, jarring add air if it's basically they said you know at the very bottom it said when all else fails add air or something like that so <coughs> excuse me so what I did um, was when driving yesterday I added air at 5 psi increments so I stopped for gas, I'd add 5 PSI, see if it made it better. You know, got food, stopped again, add 5 PSI. Um, and I kept doing that over and over and over. And I noticed the ride kept getting better and better and better. Every time I hit bumps, it'd be a little bit less bouncing. Um, it just really just got better. And so I was like, well, shoot, why don't I just add a ton of air? So I added, um, and they're right now at 65 PSI, and it's like a dream. It's Now, there is a trailer back there. You can see that bump right there that I just said. It does move. But you're talking, you know, a vehicle, gross vehicle weight, meaning the trailer and the truck weight together of almost 24,000 pounds. Um, and it's driving right now at 71-ish miles an hour. Um, and it's pretty smooth. Now this road is a little bit of a smoother road. A um, few little bumps like right, right there. I don't know if you saw that one. Um, but overall, like it's not doing the, the bounce. You'd hit up a, a line, you'd hit it, and the whole thing would, you'd feel the back of the truck go up. Yesterday I hit one with only 30 PSI, and it felt like the whole back end of the truck was gonna be lifted in the air by the trailer. Um, a lot of people would say at that point that you should add more weight to the front of the trailer, but showing, you know, the numbers can't lie here, The f most of the weight is on the front of the trailer. So, um, like I said, I added more PSI, I'm at 65 right now, and it's riding so much smoother than it was um, even when the trailer was unloaded. So the airbags do make a big difference and I would recommend adding air slowly, um, you know, until it gets better. The area you wanna look for is making sure that the truck doesn't have a lot of rake, meaning the back end is a lot higher than the front and you wanna make sure that the trailer isn't, you know, uh, squatting essentially, meaning the front end is way higher than the back end of the trailer. 
So you wanna make sure that you don't get to that point where it's too much air and that you know, you're know you having those problems. Um, but adding air to lessen the bounce um, and all of that, you know, I say add it in small increments of like five PSI, maybe 10, um, until you get to that point where like, hey, I shouldn't add any more air. Um, and usually that's, I found out, I reached that point where I'm like, okay, I don't wanna add any more because I don't want the truck to rake really bad while towing and I don't want the trailer to squat or you know have to be lifted up in the front. So, um, but at that point, the bounce was significantly less. Now you still feel the bumps. It's not like, you know, a Cadillac, um, it is towing, it is a truck. Um, but it is significantly better than what it was without the airbags. Um, I installed them myself. They were, the airbags themselves, installing them was not difficult. If your truck is stock, and especially if your truck is newer, uh, there's no problem installing. Um, it takes some time. You just kind of have to be tedious and, you know, read the directions. Um, I ran into some issues with the bump stops. The bolts on those were rusted, like, really badly um, and so I actually had to use an angle grinder to cut and there's like wires on the inside so it's super sketch and yeah I don't recommend it um, I tried like different sprays PB blaster to remove the bolt and get rid of the rust but it was so seized on there um, I was not able to budget so I ended up having to cut it off um, didn't have any issues with that but it was a hassle having to do that and cut it um, the other issue I ran into was this truck the rear the blocks were aftermarket blocks and they didn't have that platform that the bump stop hits. Um, so I had to remove those and put in stock ones um, and it was kind of a big ordeal. Um, and that added a lot of time to the install. Like, um, yeah, I had to do that on a separate day because there just wasn't enough time in the afternoon or evening to do it all in one day. So um, between taking the bolts off of those bump stops and the new blocks in the back, it definitely added a lot of time to this, but the actual install of the airbags is not that difficult. Um, so yeah, my recommendation is that you buy airbags. Firestone probably makes really good ones. I was gonna get theirs, um, and then I saw that these have that bump stop in them. So if for some reason you lose your air in them, they're not gonna blow out. Um, it should protect them for the most part, but they still advise both air, Firestone gear, you know, make sure that you have to have air in the Firestones because they don't have that bumper. But even Airlift says to make sure you have at least five PSI when you're not towing. Um, and that's the last thing I'll note too, is do not run 60 PSI or like, you know, anything crazy like that when you're not towing because then the back end will be really bouncy because it's not being compressed at all. So, like I said, get airbags, especially if you have a lot of bounce. Um, the other area to look at if you still have bounce after the airbags or if you're like not wanting to do all that and add airbags, the cheaper option um, would be to get new shocks. Um, this truck has Bilstein 5100, uh, the zero to two inch um, shocks on it and they're relatively new and I was still having that bounce just because the trailer is so heavy. Um, and then that the squad of the truck, I wasn't thrilled about that because that increases tire wear. So that's why I got airbags with the level of the truck, make a better ride and it did that. Uh, job of that I've been thoroughly impressed um, like I said I'm doing 75 right now and it's pretty pretty dang smooth for what it is the vehicle that it is anyways if you have any questions leave a comment below if you'd like to see any more content want to see more of the truck more of the trailer more of setup uh, what's done to them any of those questions leave a comment let me know I'll see if I can make some more videos I'll catch you guys later